Okie dokie guys, how are you doing today? I am doing amazing. I want to welcome you back to my channel because it's me, Alana Cherie. And today I'm going to be doing a review on, wow, this product right here. I don't know if it's focusing. Is it focusing guys? I don't know. I don't know. Then back away. Focus, camera, focus. Bow. Okay, there we go. And it is the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir Foundation with Vitamins and it has SPF 20, which is awesome for um, every day because your face needs a SPF. So I don't care if you're just wearing regular makeup or summer, spring, fall, winter, you need SPF somewhere on your face. I usually use my um, Bare Minerals Prep Stuff. This stuff is awesome. Like it's the bomb and it's SPS 50 which is amazing. I use this every day if I'm going outside or whatever. This has to be on my face. I need to get some more because it's kind of low. I even got my mom liking this so that's thumbs up. But anyways like I was saying this stuff is really really good like for I don't know like I don't know what I was expecting. Um, I haven't used CoverGirl in probably years like probably when I first started playing in makeup I used I went to CoverGirl first but then I kind of shied away from it because I was using my L'Oreal and L'Oreal was treating me good but this right here is bomb like I love it um it is kind of thicker at first but if you blend it out it's really good because it's like medium coverage I want to say well for me it was like medium and then if you want it fuller you can just add more, which I don't really want to, especially in the summertime. I don't want all that mess on my face. I already put enough mess on my face. I don't, I don't need that extra mess, you know what I mean? But it says it's lightweight, full coverage makeup. Um, this formula hydrates and includes a complex of SPF 20, vitamins, and antioxidants. And you guys want to know something? It's oil free. It is oil free. So this is good for my um, oily girls who don't need that extra oil going on their faces. This will probably be good for you to try. Um, uh, my color is 760, which I probably could have went a color down, but I think for the summertime, this is gonna do me good. And then in the wintertime, I'll probably just add a shade or two to lighten it up or add one of my lighter foundations that I have because it is kind of um, orange a little bit on me, but it's just like a tad bit. And by the time I put my, found, uh, my foundation, my concealer and my, um, What's that stuff called? My contour, it you can't even tell a difference. You see what I'm saying? Like it seems like it's just my regular skin color, which I ain't mad at. Um, it doesn't feel heavy. It does a tad bit feel a little sticky. Cause I didn't set my face with any powder because sometimes I just don't. But if you don't like the stickiness to it, you might want to set it with a powder. Cause it is kind of tacky just a little bit so if you guys like to see how I use this product and how I felt about it continue watching I'll be showing you how I applied it and all that good stuff so keep on watching and I'll see you in the next video Bye. all right so I already did my eyes and my brows so now I'm just gonna go in and do my foundation this is the vitalist healthy elixir again and the color 760 and I'm going to start by applying this directly onto my face just in those four areas there and then I'm going to take my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge and start applying see this is where I told you guys it did come off a little bit orange but it wasn't like drastic or anything but it does have an orange um, undertone to it but like I said by the time I put my concealer and my contour on it's not even going to be a big deal as you can see the coverage is very very good like I was very very pleased with the coverage um, it is like I said kind of um, a thicker consistency but, but there you can really tell like my undertone is more yellow and then like I said the undertone in the foundation itself is more orange so you could actually see the difference right here but it's all gonna work out in the end I promise you guys Okay, this is all blended out and the smell is all right it doesn't really have like a, a terrible smell or a smell that's kind of like 
annoying to smell. It's just a regular smell. And now I'm just going to go ahead and apply my usual concealer combination, which was the Makeup Forever Full Cover um, Concealer in this number 12, I believe, and then the Fit Me Concealer in 25. Here I'm using the Black Opal True Color Foundation Stick to contour with in the shade Nutmeg. Now I'm just going to set my concealer with the Sasha Buttercup setting powder. And then of course I'm setting my cream contour with the True Color, um, True Match, not uh, True Color, True Match, but the True Match powder foundation in W5. And this is the completed look. I love it. I did not set my foundation again. So if you don't really like the tacky feeling or if you need to set it or whatever, you can. But overall, I loved it. And thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video.